Greetings fellow programmers, uh, my name is Pavel and I am going to do an exercise from the chapter 8, exercise 23 from uh, Visual C Sharp 2012, how to program. This one is called Knight's Tour Brute Force Approach. Now, we, this is a kind of a classic thing, uh, we are going to determine whether a knight, a chess piece called the knight, can move around the chess chessboard and touch each of the 64 squares. Now um, this is a brute force ex approach, meaning this is not really any uh, you know, fancy algorithm. We will be simply doing some uh, uh, random moves and determining whether you know, the move was legal and uh, hoping that uh, we will do 64 uh, legal moves uh, in a row and that would uh, result in uh, actually having the knight move around uh, and touch every uh, or each of the 64 squares so um, all right let's uh, first see what we mean by uh, this exercise so we have a, a knight which uh, moves in an L shape it can move two spaces up and one to the left or one to the right. It can also move uh, two spaces uh, left and one up or one down. The same to the right, two, two spaces to the right, one up, one down. But it can also move uh, one space up and two to the right or two to the left. Uh, so you can see the all possible moves uh, represented by the uh, red circles. So altogether, there's eight possible moves. If, of course, the uh, all the um, squares are available, like if the so if the horse was uh, moved somewhere else, like let's say he would start from uh, position over here, some of the moves would result to be mo uh, outside of the chessboard, which would be illegal move. Now the moves we can uh, translate into some sort of coordinates that we can keep in an array. So we can basically say, all right, two moves up or two squares up and one left would be a coordinate of two and left would be minus one. Two up and one right would be two plus one. Going down, let's say two down and one left, since we're going down, it would be minus 2 or negative 2, and moving left would be negative 1. However, moving right would be negative 2, so we're still going down, which would be negative, but to the right, which would be positive, so plus 1. We can also do um, 1 down only, so that would be ne negative 1, and to the left, which would be negative 2, or we can do 1 down, which would be minus 1, but also two to the right which would be plus two so these are the coordinates the green numbers of each of the eight moves so and we need to this this is what uh, is very important because these represent the moves this is how we will determine whether the move is legal uh, and, or whether it's even possible and uh, we can put them in an array like this Okay, put two. Uh, we can have arrays of uh, each of the uh, coordinates. Uh, the first number in separate array from the second number. We could also have a, a 2D array which uh, would have the coordinates together, two and minus one, all in one uh, uh, array. But uh, I think it would be easier to split them up. So the first numbers. 2, 2, 1, minus 1, and so forth are the first numbers. And the array 2 would hold the second coordinates, the second numbers. So um, we have to keep that in mind because we have to code the arrays correctly. As for the logic, well, we have to make sure that the um, horse can move. Uh, and that it's moving in the L shape. 
So, uh, let's say I started here. And randomly, the horse moved two up and one to the right. So it would be two and plus one. So it would be uh, this particular uh, move, two and plus one. Because we're moving to the right. From there, let's say I moved uh, one up and two to the right. So it would be uh, one up and two to the right. Or maybe I moved uh, two to the right and one up. So that would be two to the right and one up. Both would be possible, So, but it would be randomly determined. So now my horse is here and I do not have all the moves available. The knight now can move uh, only to these three positions. It can move two and one or one and two, which would result in the same position, or two down and one left, or two down and one right. If it tries to move two to the left and one down, we cannot do that because he already was there. That that was already taken. We have to, we 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 cannot touch the same chessboard uh, or the same uh, square that uh, was already touched. Remember the assignment calls for the knight to move. Uh, to each uh, square only once or touch each square only once the same I cannot go two up and one left because I would end up outside of the chessboard so basically this is our logic we have to create a logic for the knight that guarantees or checks the boundaries of the chessboard and keeps track of the uh, spaces or the uh, squares that were already uh, populated before because those would be the invalid moves and basically if there are no more moves possible but still some of the uh, squares are available then we're done it's uh, the horse uh, I mean the, the knight didn't make it all the way if no more moves are possible and all those uh, squares were populated then that was the winning tour so this is the logic, this is the, uh, the principles, so we'll be w w working with two arrays, with coordinates and a basic logic that would simply check, is, it, is this move possible? Randomly, uh, we basically, we would randomly pick a move, so let's say the, we uh, randomly pick a move that says uh, going down uh, and then uh, let's say, oh no, let's say We'll pick this one. Going two up, right the first one, randomly, uh, kind of like a roll of a dice. So, and we get random two and minus one coordinates. So we'll check two and minus one coordinates. No, that's not possible. Roll again. So it will go and let's say randomly pick negative two and plus one. So negative two, which means down, and plus one uh, is to the right. Is it possible? Yes, it is. So the horse would move to that and we would repeat that the logic uh, checking the boundaries checking the uh, previous moves until uh, we can move and we would basically check it eight times because as you if you remember there are eight possible uh, moves that the uh, knight can move uh, uh, perform so if you f find this uh, problem interesting then stick around and in the next video we will start coding and uh, hopefully we will be able to um, have the knight perform the tour as uh, requested all right i'll see you in the next video take care